Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware, last week I put together a video showing you guys the top three best ways to make money in GTA 5 online. And going off the feedback, a bunch of you guys really seem to enjoy that video as there was at least one method all of you guys could grind out and make a ton of money in no time. However, truth be told, some of the methods in that video have changed or have been updated. So I thought I'd go ahead and put together somewhat of an update version to that video seeing as so many of you guys did enjoy it so as always if you guys would like to see me cover more epic money guides in the future all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the video Okay, so as I'm sure you guys are all aware by now, every single week I do like to cover the brand new time trials. So usually I will show you guys a very specific route to follow in order for you guys to beat the brand new time trial. Well, in actual fact, this week's brand new time trial for the first ever time is just purely based on luck. If you guys aren't aware, this week's time trial is called Down Chiliad, and it basically just requires you guys to drive from the top of Mount Chiliad all the way to the bottom. So hopefully you guys understand why I'm telling you there is no specific method of driving down an actual hill. So there's tons of different things that could happen. You could end up flipping your car, whacking into a tree. So what I thought I'd go ahead and do this week is something different and draw from you guys in the community to show how to beat this week's time trial. So I will be showing you guys two different runs of completing this brand new time trial the first one as you guys can see on screen is in the scramjet and then after that i'll show you guys gameplay of someone beating it in a motorbike so as you guys could probably see by the gameplay in the background the scramjet is a perfect car to actually do this week's time trial in because obviously you can jump and you can boost in it similar to how you guys can boost in the vigilante which is another car that i have seen a ton of people completing this time trial in because you guys can just boost straight from the top and then just try and keep your balance along the pathway and you guys should be able to complete this time trial very easily by the way i do want to give a massive shout out to fvpf as well as celo mcvex stuff for actually supplying me gameplay to show you guys of people completing it in different vehicles however if you guys are like me and you do prefer to do these time trials in motorbikes then you can follow a more specific route rather than just getting a scramjet or a vigilante and boosting it straight off the top like i said it's probably much more funner to do it for scramjet or a vigilante but if you guys do want a higher rate of completing it then as you guys can see on screen simply follow this route on either a Batty AR1, a Hakuchu, a Hakuchu Drag, a Shatoro or a Gargoyle and you should be able to beat this time trial with a fair few seconds to spare. It is worth mentioning if you think you're not going to complete it on the run all you have to do is hold down triangle on the PlayStation or Y on the Xbox and it will respawn you right at the start of the time trial so you don't have to wait hours driving all the way up the mountain again. And the final tip as you guys can probably see by the gameplay when you're catching major airtime always pull your bike backwards so you guys can increase your speed and try and land it on your back wheel as you will never bail when doing so if you try and land on your front wheel you guys will notice nine times out of ten your character will fall off his bike so follow these tips and this route and i'm pretty sure you guys will have a good chance of beating it however coming in for the second best money making method and this is an epic method that is basically semi afk and that is basically by setting up other players in a free roam session Okay, so I know for a fact a bunch of you guys that watch my videos are just going to love this method because the reactions are going to get up priceless when you're setting up your friends, crew members or other players in free roam. Of course, for the last year or so, we can own a bunch of different businesses in the game from weed farms to vehicle warehouses to hangers, but no other players besides the player that owns that property can interact with it. So you can't like set up to rob someone or you can't pay a certain amount to raid someone's business, which personally I think would be a sick idea considering the game is based around and being a criminal and yes before you think about writing a comment i know you can call a mom call a mug up for 500 dollars but the most you're going to get from that is 10k if someone else has got that in their pocket if they've got that money banked you can't really rob someone and use that for a money making method Whereas the method in today's video, the way we're going to be setting players up will guarantee you guys $33,500 every single time we do it and you can sit AFK like I said. So after an hour of grinding this, you can easily make well over a quarter of a million dollars, which is just insane for a solo easy AFK method. You really have no reason to complain. So the very first thing you guys want to do is go ahead and register as a CEO. Don't worry, we no longer need a million dollars in our bank account to 
register to CEO, you only need 50k and I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of you guys have at least 50k saved up in your bank on GTA 5. However, once you guys are a CEO, you just want to do is either on screen, just pull up your interaction menu, go down to hire associates and just spam out the entire lobby. For the first ever time in GTA history, a money making method is going to be better by being in a lobby with more players. Crazy, as I'm sure you guys have probably been like me in the past and the best money making methods have been trying to get empty public lobbies so you can do your own free run work so it's just insane to think now we can make insane amounts of money in a bigger public lobby so as you guys can see i just spammed out invites to a bunch of random players and then i had one random guy join my organization now from here like i said it's probably better to start this in like a property that you own it could be any property most likely you're better off doing it in the city so if you've got an office or an apartment go ahead and spam out invites whilst in your apartment so you can just invite them straight over to your apartment now as you guys can see this guy was actually waiting outside my office for me so i didn't have to invite him over now once the guy is outside your apartment all you want to do is get him inside of your vehicle now if you guys own any of the armored vehicles like the karuma the insurgent the insurgent pickup the duke of death to be honest with you there are so many armored vehicles in the game nowadays i'm sure you guys will own one however if you guys have no armored vehicles Calls, don't worry you can still do this method very very easily however like i said if you do have an armored vehicle once the guy gets in your car you want to pull up your interaction menu go down to vip challenges and you want to start the challenge called most wanted now don't worry this isn't the method that i'm going to be showing you guys just to play a challenge it's the method and how we're going to be setting up the guy to make the most amount of money is what you guys want to know so once you guys have got the guy in your car you want to make your way to this location on the map i'll pull up in just a second as you guys can see it's this railway right here that should lead straight to the underground now as i'm sure you guys may also be aware that have played most wanted in the past usually you can't wait underground if you go into any tunnels while doing this most wanted you'll just get a countdown of 10 seconds and told to leave the tunnel otherwise the challenge will finish so here's the location of the tunnel once again so you guys know where you have to park and as i did mention earlier if you already own an armored car start the challenge as soon as your associate gets in the car however if you just got a normal car which you can still do this in go ahead and start the challenge once you get inside the tunnel just so you're not getting shot by the cops and you end up dying before you get here however as you guys can see this part is practically the easiest part known to man i can't believe we're going to be getting such a good payout for literally sitting under a tunnel so from this point all you guys want to do is go afk pull up your phone go on one of my youtube videos drop a few likes drop a few comments do whatever you guys like to do to pass the time go ahead sit on the toilet for five minutes make your dinner pull up a movie you can literally do anything like i said just to pass the eight minutes so i fast forward this gameplay to save you guys time however once you guys reach the one minute mark all you guys want to do is drive out of this little tunnel right here take it left and just basically surround yourself by cops pull up your interaction menu vehicles and bang empty vehicle <laughs> the associate will have no idea he just got set up and run out to the cops and bang he should die within seconds and boys as you guys can see 33 and a half k for sitting afk under a tunnel god damn you i know for a fact ton of players are going to be running around in gta 5 online now under this tunnel just setting up their friends setting up crew members trying to get that easy 33k which honestly pays more than every single vip work that you can currently do in the game where you actually have to do work like you have to drive around either go pick up a heli take out targets all that crap is long i'd rather just go get someone in my car kick him out the car to the police and get rewarded with 33k every single time so quick maths like i said after three attempts you're near enough 100k which would take less than half an hour so after an hour of doing this and in between you could be selling cars or doing headhunter or resupply a business so you could easily make much more than a quarter of a million i'm just saying a quarter of a million is the bare minimum that all of you guys will be able to earn having no businesses doing nothing else besides this method so like i said combine this with other methods you're probably making double that now like you guys can also see on screen this time i launched it from my facility and i had two associates join me you only need one associate and like i said for the first ever time in gta 5 the more players you've got in your association the worse it is because more than likely one of them is going to survive so as you guys can see just pull up your interaction menu and dismiss or kick someone from your ceo if more than one person joins and as i did mention if you already own an armored car like a career or XLS 
any car that's armored you can practically start this most wanted anywhere in the map and then drive towards the tunnel if you guys do prefer to sit afk like myself so you're probably always better off starting a mission like i said in like an office or apartment that you've got in this city but in all honesty saying that go ahead and start it anywhere because once you guys drive towards the tunnel it only takes about two minutes to get there from any point of the map so it's completely up to you guys how lazy you want to be when grinding this method but fast forward in this gameplay as you guys can see i'm in the tunnel we reached that one minute mark i drive out into the open bang empty my vehicle he has no idea what just happened to him next thing you know i get rewarded with a very very easy 33 and a half k for literally sitting in a tunnel for eight minutes now like i did mention you do not need an armored car to do this at all here's me doing it in another car as you can see i'm using the reaper this time simply sit afk in the tunnel drive out kick the guy out of my car bang another 33k and if you thought that was a one-off here again in the reaper i have another guy in my car i empty personal vehicle this time this guy doesn't die straight away do be careful you do get a few survivor characters that do try to cling on to the last bits of life but as you guys can see eventually the cops put an end to him and i get rewarded with another 33k so just make sure there is a fair few good cops around you when you kick the guy from your car as you guys can see here's another guy that i've done it on i've literally done this on about 50 different people but once again as you guys can see another victim kicked out the car put to their death nice 33k in my bank account and as you guys can see by this gameplay right here i done it to my friend so goddamn much that he tried to do it on me as you guys can see right here but he left it way too late you cannot do it with like 10 seconds left as soon as it goes past the nine minute mark you guys can kick them out of your car and you will be receiving the full payout straight away if both of you don't die then you still get 21k each which is still very good for like sitting under a tunnel but why would you want to get 21k every time when you can get 33 and a half k every time one once again as you guys can see these are all different players in the game and like all different times i'm making this money so i've easily made like near enough a million from doing this method already and the fact like i said that it's not really felt like i'm grinding i'm not doing any work i'm just sitting under a tunnel then kicking someone out and then laughing in their face there really isn't a better way to make money now as you guys can see this guy that i kicked out ended up surviving a good 10 seconds and tried to get back in my car if they try and get back in your car just keep on baiting them moving back and forth as you guys can see eventually gets put to sleep so maybe instead of just kicking them out at a random point in the map wait until a police car pulls up like right here you can see on screen and then kick them out the car and then bang it shouldn't take too long for the police to do their job and once again as you guys can see i go up to vehicles access no one bang another 33k there is actually a police station right around the corner from the tunnel so if you want to guarantee that your friend ends up getting shot as you guys can see just drop them off in front of the police station give it about five seconds or so and then bang another 33 and a half k and don't think that you've only got to do it to one person you can get more people in your organization and then try and kick them all out of the car but obviously it's just more chance of one of them surviving if there's more players as you guys can see right here i actually had two people in my ceo well i had four of us all together but i had two in my car at the time i go ahead and kick both of them out at the same time and i'm still able to win the challenge it did take slightly longer for them to die as you guys can see but eventually on foot with a five star one level not many players can survive that and like you guys can see in the top right i receive 30k rather than 33 and a half because it's actually under the nine minute mark we finished with eight minute 42 seconds like i said if you guys do want the max payout just make sure the nine minute mark passes in the challenge and another great thing about these challenges are they're not like vip work or mc work or all that crap because basically if one player in your session is doing any vip work or any mc contract then it prohibits any other players from doing work whereas with the challenges as many players can be running them as you want so you could have like five six players in the same lobby all doing the most wanted challenge at the same time you don't have to wait for someone else to finish but not only that whilst you guys are doing the challenge no other random player can come over to you and try and kill you or distract you as you guys can see right here I had a random fanboy try and shoot me down with a bunch of bombs not knowing that i'm actually doing most wanted because it's not going to show up on his radar that i'm in passive mode so he thinks that he can still kill me so it's also perfect for trolling random guys that think they're tough online so don't worry if you see guys coming in tanks or jets they can't mess with this money making method whatsoever as you guys can see right here bang another 33 and a half k 
However, coming in for the third and final best money maker method, and that is by grinding out the double money and double RP that Rockstar Games are currently offering on the missile base adversary mode. If you guys are able to play these modes in the right way, you'll be able to earn a ton of money in no time. So I'll quickly go ahead and break down the best way to grind out these double money and double RP methods. In this video i will cover the method to earn you guys the most amount of money in the shortest period of time but i will also be covering how to earn the biggest payout per game as well as how to earn all the bonuses which can make a massive difference to your final payout plus taking into account all the factors like how easy it is to actually grind however once you guys are in this setup menu you want to make sure you put it on four rounds this will make much more sense later on in the video however you want to make sure you've got it on four rounds and then simply go ahead and invite one other friend into the game and launch it up now once you guys start start the game up it's going to give you the option to be either the hunted or the slasher i've seen a lot of people getting confused in my comment section thinking this was the reason why they haven't been able to earn such good money don't worry you can be on any team that isn't going to make a difference to your payout simply go ahead and ready up Okay, so first things first, I'm going to show you guys how you can earn the biggest payout per game and I'm going to break down how you guys can make it so you earn the most amount of money depending on how long you guys spend on the game. So first things first, I know a lot of people have been asking me, they've been trying to do the overtime shootout method with the slasher and that isn't going to work. It might work if both of you just want to go AFK and earn exactly the same amount of money, but if you're both looking to earn the most amount of money in the shortest period of time, this really isn't the method to go. And just to prove to you guys, as you guys can see right here, once the timer runs out, it is going to go into overtime, just like the overtime shootout. However, once this overtime ends, bang, as you guys can see right here, you'll receive another three minutes and extra time. And if no one goes on to kill anyone, the person who was the hunted first will receive the round win. However, you're both going to receive exactly the same amount, which is only $8,000. Now, of course, $8,000 for only six minutes of work is good, but it's not those epic figures that I'm usually looking for when grinding money. So as you guys can see, we both receive receive $8,000 however my friend ends up receiving the win for the round and I receive nothing. Of course if both of you are like watching a movie in the background or one of you is going to go out and you just tied an elastic band around your control and left it there by all means that would be an okay method to grind however what you guys actually want to do is just wait until the five minute mark passes in the game. So as you guys can see on screen we're moving into round two now and all we want to do is basically make sure that five minutes passes in the game and then my friend can kill me which will be earning him $16,000 and I'll be receiving 8k for literally doing nothing. Now my friend is actually going to be earning more than 16k however it's not going to show up just yet because he's going to be earning the rest in bonuses which I'm going to explain later on in the video. So fast forward in this gameplay as you guys can see you get three minutes to start off the main round as soon as that three minutes passes you want to give it another two minutes into the extra time and then your friend can go ahead and kill you and then bang as you guys can see we actually spent less time in this round than round one and still managed to double his money now by my friend winning round one and then winning round two straight after round one he's going to be earning something called a winner's round bonus and this will actually make a massive difference to the final payout that you guys do receive at the end of the game i did see a few people in last week's money making method saying i like to win one round and let my friend win one round and i like to win one round and you was wondering why you wasn't receiving as much as me that's because you guys were not earning the winner's round bonus if you don't follow exactly what I tell you in the video then you're not going to be earning exactly what I earn in the video but then again saying that it was only like five people that did say that in the comment section when thousands of people was grinding it properly so here you can see a graph that I put together showing you guys exactly how much you guys are going to be earning by winning the rounds back to back so as you guys can see I actually made this graph when it wasn't double money and double RP just so people don't get confused in case you guys come back to this video once the promotion has ended but it's very clear to see once you guys win two Two rounds that means one after the other you'll be receiving a bonus on top of your winnings of 12,940 by winning three rounds back to back that's going to increase up to just under 20,000 then if you guys go ahead and win four rounds back to back it's going to give you guys a total bonus of 26k now that is without the double money and double rp promotion so to earn the biggest payout from a single game of this slash adversary mode would be for me to go afk as you guys can see on screen right now I just tied an elastic band around my control pad so I don't get kicked for inactivity and because my friend has already won the previous two rounds I can go ahead and let him win the third round that way he's going to be earning three round bonuses and then I can go ahead and win the fourth 
four remaining rounds. If you guys remember, we put it on the first to win four rounds, not the best out of four rounds, which means we can play a total of seven rounds per game. So I'll be able to go AFK for the first three rounds and still receive the loser's winnings. And then I can go ahead and win the next four rounds back to back and win all of the winner's round bonuses. It should take my total to easily around 140k per game. As you guys can see on screen right here, I go ahead and win the final round and bang 140k per game as well as an insane 12,000 rp Chai! you guys really have no reason to complain of figures like that now like i said that would be a good method if one of you is kind of going afk and you're eating your dinner or you want to watch some of my youtube videos however like i said right at the start of the video you guys can earn up to 92k every 20 minutes now what you guys actually want to do is just let one of you go ahead and win the first four rounds straight away back to back so as you guys can see right here as soon as five minutes passes in a round i go ahead and kill my friend and then i go ahead and repeat this for three more rounds and what you guys might be thinking is i'm getting less money for this game than i got for the previous game that's because i'm not getting the losers winnings however it's saving me much more time in the long run because if you guys think about it because we're only spending five minutes per round five times four is only 20 minutes and we'll be earning like i said 92k because we're earning 16k per round that will take our total normal earnings to around 64k but because we're earning that 28k for doing nothing like i said we're going to be earning ninety two thousand dollars per game and because we literally don't need our friend to do anything he can go 100 afk and let us just do all the work of this game then he can repeat the process for the next game and you can literally just keep taking it in turns so fast forwarding this gameplay on a bit as you guys can see right here we're in the fourth and final round i go ahead and win it and bang only took me 20 minutes to complete this map and i receive an insane ninety-two thousand dollars as well as over eight thousand rp for only 20 minutes of work boys and i even rank up whilst i was playing this how rare that happens once you get into the level 600s so an extremely epic money making method that will earn you guys just under 100k for only 20 minutes of work so you really have no reason to complain i know for a fact this method is going to help out a ton of you guys so definitely be sure to get on your grind and if you guys are grinding this out as always do be sure to tweet me your payouts and i will be sure to feature you guys in a future video and don't forget to leave a comment underneath this video with your psn or your gamer tag to find some players to grind this method out with and also as i did mention in the intro i will leave a link to all five of my crews down low in the description now i will say the big change for one of my crews is the laser gaming pc crew is now open to players on all platforms because i did work out out of all five of my crews this crew does have the least amount of active players so what i'm going to be doing is kicking tons of players from the pc crew who aren't making the crew that active crew so a bunch of you guys that may play on xbox one or ps4 that can't get in the other crews go ahead and join the laser gaming pc crew and there should be a good group of players on all platforms in that crew nonetheless that's going to do it for me guys if you guys have enjoyed this video or it is going to help you out in some way shape or form which i'm pretty sure it is all i ask is you drop a like down below and feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video peace